Oh no! Treasure Wallet is gone! Or at least it will be on the 31st of January. Ah, hello there. You came here just in time. As you heard me say, Treasure Wallet is coming to an end. What are we supposed to do now with our Treasure Model T's and our Treasure Model 1's? Well, Treasure being the reliable brand they are, have given us the Treasure Suite, an application that has all the features, all the functions of the Treasure Wallet and more. Now, if you watch my videos, well, from now on, Treasure Suite will be the software we use with our Treasure Model T. And even if you don't watch my videos, which I do suggest you do, Treza, installing Treasure Suite is still a good idea because as I said, Treasure Wallet won't be supported after the 31st of January. Now in this video, we're going to install the Treasure Suite on an Ubuntu system. So grab your computer and let's head over to GitHub. Yes, GitHub. As it turns out, Trezor is now using app images. You see, back in the old days, when we installed the Trezor bridge on our systems, they used a Debian file, .deb, very easy to install. But for the Trezor suite, they seem to have gone with the app image option. As such, if you do not know how to install an app image, we're going to be using the app image launcher. Now, assuming you know how to install app images, you can skip to this point in the video and I'll see you there. But assuming you don't, let's head over to GitHub and install the app image launcher. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is to head over here. I will leave a link to this page down in the description. It is the releases for the app image launcher. Now, as we're using Ubuntu, we're going to want a DEB file, Debian, specifically amd64.deb. So we'll click over here, save the file, let it download, give it some time, watch the blue line go, and we should be done. Now we're going to click on it and it will open Ubuntu software. Here we will click to install type in our password and authenticate. Once it's installed, we'll be able to very easily install other app images. So now it's done. And we can head over back to Trezor Wallet. Okay, now that all of you are on the same page where all of you are able to install app images, Let's head over to the Trezor website and install the Trezor suite. Now that we have the app image launcher installed, it's time to install Trezor suite. We click to desktop app. They will detect what operating system we're using. As we can see here, Linux x86-64, not ARM64. Get desktop app. Now app image launcher will immediately become your default um, application to open any app image because we have it. So save file, OK. Once it's done downloading, we click on it, and here we are. App Image Launcher is asking us whether we want to run it once or integrate it and run. Because we're going to be using it often for our Trezor transactions, we want to integrate and run. Give it a moment, and voila, we have Trezor Suite. Let us plug in my cable. I'm going to quickly plug in my Trezor to show you how it looks like once everything is opened. Uh, allow me to put in the pin, let it verify, and voila, we have Trezor Suite. Now I hope that solved any questions or problems you may have had installing the Trezor Suite. I did this video on an Ubuntu 20.04 Focal Fossa. I also ran a test on an Ubuntu 18.04 Bionic Beaver, and it worked well on both. So assuming you're using one of the later um, versions of Ubuntu or one of its variations, you should be able to get Trezor Suite on your computer. Um, now, if you'd like to see how to use the Trezor Suite, for example, in the recovery of a Shamir backup, on a Trezor Model T, 
where that video will actually be coming out very soon. So hit the notification bell and of course subscribe to the channel. That will be all for this video. Stay safe, live long and prosper.